worldwide, bees are dying. Nearly half of all beehives and colonies just die out, a phenomenon known as colony collapse disorder. Pesticides, disease, and climate change, those are the big four stressors, I would say. And all of them kind of combined is the perfect storm for why we're seeing about 30 to 40 percent of all bees die every single year globally. These factors are killing bees by the trillions, and there's good reason to care. A man's got to eat. 30 percent of the world food supply is reliant on bee pollination. The issue is the technology to grow and protect those bees hasn't changed much in the past 150 years, at least not until now. There's one Israeli company with a new solution. This is a robot-controlled hive, two million bees swarming inside a machine that controls their climate and prevents bees from bringing back poison. The BeeWise hive can lock down if its sensors detect too extreme temperatures or too much pesticide. And it's constantly scanning for signs of parasites or disease. If it finds any, it can call for immediate intervention. A queen bee can lay 2,000 eggs a day. So if 2,000 bees are gone in the field, in a, few, in a couple of weeks, you can kind of replace them with new population. The important thing is to make sure that the queen is safe and the colony is safe. But a robot hive isn't just about protecting the environment. It's about tackling one of the biggest challenges to the agricultural economy. Beekeeping is uh, very labor intensive. And this is exactly the pain point we're trying to address. So the biggest pain point for the beekeeper is the labor getting out to the field and, and getting to the hives. And keeping up bee populations means much better yields for Israel's farms, especially those kibbutzim whose entire way of life relies on agriculture. If you see an area that the bees are dying, you, you'll see less, less fruit in the, in the end of the year. But is it enough? With bee populations crashing worldwide, other Israelis believe high-tech pollination may be necessary to sideline the bees entirely. As the bee population is declining, global agriculture needs a solution which doesn't rely on bees anymore, but which will either supplement or eventually replace a, the bees. The situation certainly stings a little. On one hand, industrialized agriculture is necessary to feed 7 billion people around the world. But on the other, it's also poisoning trillions of essential workers that do the same thing.